Hey guys, welcome to Game Jammin. I'm here to show you another game from Hearthstone. So the last the last episode I posted up, I almost made it sound like I was going to be done uh, playing for this season, but I think I had a slight change of heart. I I it's not that I want to give up on playing it. I just was getting a little bit tired of the Miracle Rogue deck I was playing. I would just felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. I was just going 50-50, not doing anything. So I feel like a little change would help out, and so that's why I've decided to play Reno Rogue. Now that is a deck that's completely random every time you play it, so I thought it would be a lot more fun. But that being said, let's get going. I, I did play a few games of this uh, off off stream or off um, off YouTube, and I'm enjoying the heck out of the deck. I think I really like Shadowcaster a lot. I like being able to play Reno and be like, haha, I'm back to 30 again. Uh, and it seems to have a lot of things for making the end game a lot easier. I'm not really afraid of any matchup except for maybe Shaman. But then even Shaman, if you draw Reno early, you're like, okay, I got Reno early. What else do I need to worry about? Like this. Look, I've got Reno in my opening hand. Hmm, let me think about this. I can, I can choose however I want to play out the rest of these cards. Um, I don't have that many early drops. The Shadow Strike may be helpful, but I also like the Zero for the extra card, so I'm just going to keep it. I don't really know how to play this deck yet, so I'll give you some of my advice. Um, try to get Reno. If you have Reno, you're looking good. <laughs> There's not much else advice after that. It's like, then maybe go for a Shadow Step, and then, you, then you're really dumb. And then by dumb, I mean completely smart. Uh, what I really like about this is it's so... You've got so much in your tool bag. You're just like, hmm, that happened? Okay, well, let me pull this out. Problem solved. And he's like, uh-oh. I, <laughs> I just revealed a C'Thun. Uh, I have a Shadow... I have Phantom Knights next turn, so I will deal damage here. And I've got Reno in my hand, right? So I'm not worried about a little damage. It's all going to come down to paying attention to what my opponent is playing and making a a correct choice based off of that. So I got Phantom Knives here. And we go next turn. Ooh, that hurts. A little bit. A little bit. It's actually kind of okay. Um, I could play it really slow. I don't know if I should use the sap yet or not. I feel like it's a little bit too soon to use the sap. Let's go for zero. He's got to clear it, right? And at least I'm getting some stuff that I can make a decision about i always want to save unearth raptor and be like i gotta get the effect off but you know what he's still a big body so sometimes it's better just to use it for the big body and and that be let that be that so now look here i gotta grab this i can kill this off Ooh, i am running a little bit close i am running a little bit low on health I'm going to guess it's a freezing trap. That's tough. That's tough. Can I leave myself at 6 health? I made a mistake. Well, I might just die this round even with Reno in my hand. But if I'm lucky, he doesn't have it. He probably does, though. Yeah, he's got it. Okay. That will do it. Man, all I needed one more turn, and I would have looked awesome. Took a little too much damage, but that's okay. Zero one, moving on. Let me update the stats real quick. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really like playing Miracle Rogue. It's a fun deck. I just felt like I'd hit this this wall with the competition where I was literally I was just going straight 50-50. Um, and half of it is that I was making play mistakes, 
Uh, but the other half of it, I felt like I wasn't that consistent. Okay, so we'll keep this heal, and obviously we don't need the Nazoth right now. The Mulligan on this deck is really weird, I'd say. Like, I can't really tell what's worth keeping and what's not worth keeping. I mean, I guess I go with the theory that if I think it's a fast deck, I keep heal. Otherwise... Otherwise, I don't know what I grab. I kind of just play it by ear. Okay. Argent Squire. Cool. Good for me. Nice slow play. And turn. Take it nice and slow. If he's going to put out um, totems, it's like, okay, no big deal. This is not even that big a deal. I screwed up. That was supposed to be backstab first. Okay, well, I guess that wasn't a backstab turn. Whoops. That's gonna hurt. Fan of Knives doesn't even help me yet. Okay, so we're going to go take advantage of the Edwin. Uh, we could conceal as well. I don't know if that helps me that much, though. Hmm. We're just going to go real simple. Okay, there we go. It's a play. I don't know if it's a great play, but it's a play. And we'll definitely be able to take advantage of this effect. Though I might save it for another turn. Okay. That works out for me. Should I coin the cult? No, I'm going to save the cult for next turn. We are going to... I think I like a sap kill. But then Phantom Knives is tempting too. No, it's not good enough though. Sap. Kill. Alright. He can still put it back down, but at least slows him down a little bit. Actually, I should be worried, though, right? You can just put down the Faceless Shaman. And I'll be like, ooh. Oh, okay. That's how it's going to be. I gotcha. I gotcha. We're going to save the Cult Apothecary for one more turn. I think this is going to be Fan of Knives and Undercity Huxer. Oh! This might turn out real good. Hopefully he tries bursting me a little bit here. This is all going to come down to a really tricky timing. He's bursting me. Perfect. And now he's debating. Do I kill it? Yeah, I got to kill it. Oh, healing wave. That's funny. Oh, this is great. Uh, let's see how much the healing wave does. Actually, it doesn't matter at this point. We're going to kill this. And heal. Yes. And he's like, darn it. Darn you, Undercity Huckster. Wow, was that a money or what? It was like, hmm, look at all that healing. That's what I miss with Ro. I don't have healing normally, but in this deck, I do. I 
I can almost go for the healing right now. The Colt. Apothecary. Oh, and the Blade of Cthune. How great is that? Let's do... Colt Dagger. I guess I could have attacked first, right? But I'm feeling he's just gonna... Um, run that guy in, so... That's why I wasn't attacking. Oh no, we hexed it! I guess it would have made sense to attack. Oh, look at this perfect play. I feel slightly bad for him. But I'll get over it. I love you, Blade of Cthulhu. Keep making that face, man. Oh, look at that timing. Uh, let's kill that guy. He seems to be the most trouble. So now he still has a lot of damage on the board. That's 10 damage on the board. So I'm going to be safe. We're not going to attack. Much as, as much as I want to attack, I'm not going to attack. We have a Reno Jackson that needs to do lots of work. Ooh, that's tough. Oof. That's good. That is good. Where's my Cthune at? Cthune is at 1515. <gasps> does he have it? No, he does not have it. And this he go this is where he goes. Wait a second. Alright, so I'm gonna run my face in. Let's kill off the big guy. <laughs> I'm totally BMing him. I'm sorry. But I don't feel bad. It's a shaman. <laughs> Can he burst me down? Now he technically... No, he can't do it with those cards. It's impossible. Uh, and he already used one rock biter, so he can't do that much. All right. Here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's try this. Let's see if it works. I'm curious. He does have a lot of damage on the board. He's got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, I guess I might as well kill it. I don't need him to boost it. Here we go. That's a fun play, though. So if he draws the Rock Biter, that will be enough for him to win. A lava burst would be good too. Does he have it? Does he have it? The light protects he does not have it! I am very lucky. I can put out the Cthune. I think at this point I have to kill this. And hope he does not draw one more damage. If he does, it is game. It comes down to this, guys. Does one HP matter? It does! Yeah! Oh, I love you, Reno Rogue. You are so much more fun. You're just, you're just, it's just a fun deck to play. I mean... I highly recommend you guys try it out. You will get these exciting games where you have to heal yourself. How many points of damage would I heal myself? At least 30, 40 points? 
No, it wasn't that much. It was a Reno and a Colt. Okay, you healed yourself 30 points, and it still comes down to having one HP left over. How fun is that? Not to mention Shadow Stepping Cthulhu. Come on now, the dream, right? Let's play it again. Let's get one more game in. The Shadow Step Cthulhu Dream. That is the real dream, right? That's that's why you're playing this deck. I'm just gonna keep Cthulhu. No, actually, the real dream is when you have Brand with Cthulhu. I was able to do that another day too, so definitely worthwhile. Oh look, Shadow Step. We're good. And Nazoth. I didn't even do Nazoth. That's a fun one as well. Almost makes me want to run two Shadow Step. But I do, because I run zero. Hmm. Hopefully I'll draw it. Ooh, that's not good. Um, sapping doesn't help right now. Well, it does. It just doesn't help that much. This is bad. That is a very strong start. That is a good save, though. Real question is, what do I go after? I think we try to kill off the knife juggler. No. I'm going to use my face on the knife juggler. Cross our fingers that he doesn't have another way of blocking. There's still a lot of damage to eat, though. Ouch. Ouch. That's all I have to say. Put this apple on your head. Oh. That is no bueno. I have to draw some heals. Pretty much. I've got nothing. Extra Tomb Pillagers don't help me. Is he going to attack? I think he's just going to go face. Oh, he's not! Yeah, give me a little bit of time. I just need to hold out till Reno comes, th comes through. All right. He actually doesn't have that many cards on the board right now. And I have to kill this knife juggler really badly. I can't play anything else anyway, so we're going to do this. Shadow Strike. And we're still just crossing our fingers that we pull the Reno. <clears throat> or the Colt. Though at this point, the Colt's not even that good. If he gets a turn 7, it may be okay. Oh, you got the Shadow Step, though. If I'm able to pull the Reno, everything changes. Then it becomes a laughing game where I go, whoa, ha, ha, ha. Oof. That is tough. That is tough. <laughs> that is cool. That is cool. Okay. I might as well run my face in for a little bit more damage. And then put the Reno out. And then the Shadow Step. 
And my opponent goes, wait a second, I did not sign up for this. I'm like, yeah, you didn't, sorry. And then I have the Shadowcaster play. That is a lot of damage, though. Have to pay attention to my health total here. Really, it's really, really important. Okay, I do have an SI7 agent. So let's do... Who can we sap? Who would be most annoying? And sap this guy... Coin. Oh, did I add that wrong? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I have seven, seven health. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Kill this. SI7. Oh, no, 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 I have to sap first. Sap first. Okay. Now, it'd been really cool if I was able to get Bran out, but obviously that that wasn't going to work. So, we do the Reno and the Shadowcaster combo. And now I've got another heal for myself, right? And hopefully he cannot burst me down from here. I don't think he can, though. He's got 7 damage on the field. He needs to be able to do 12. And he's thinking about a lot, which tells me he doesn't have it. What's he doing? What's he thinking about? Is he thinking about what, whether you can afford the damage or not? It's the only thing I can think of. Or did he just give up? I don't, I don't know. It's got to be real annoying to face this deck right now with the Warlock. Oh, well, maybe he uh, aired out. Okay, so let's do this. Do this. We're actually going to be kind of dumb here. Because we have the Conceal. So obviously we don't need two heals there. What we do need is getting the the Bran out, which just gives us a free Shadowcaster. Actually, we can just put out the Nazoth if we really want to, if, we, if our health totals are good, right? I think my opponent lied out, though. I'm telling you guys, this deck is so much fun to play because of the stupidness that comes out like that. And stupid in, in as in stupidly fun, really good. Yeah, okay, my opponent left. Oh, well. Uh, you know, truthfully, I'd probably leave too if I saw Reno come down and then Shadow step back to the hand. So that's... I can't top those two games, so we'll just leave it at that. Reno Rogue is freaking awesome. Very fun to play. I highly recommend you try it out. I have a deck list going. I bet there are 27,000 variations you can do off of this. It, it, seriously, there are so many things that you could just be like, I don't like that card. I don't have it. Try something else, and I'm sure it would work. I really don't run that many things that run off the death rattle, so you could put more death rattle in. Or you could say, hey, I actually want more things to boost the Cthune. Put more stuff in for Cthune. You could do it. Um, but have fun with it. It's, it is really an enjoyable deck to play. And you will have surprises just like I did where I, I get down to, it comes down to one health and getting a win off of that, killing the Shaman. And then 
even that right there, playing top decking the Reno that I had to get, I otherwise as toast, and then shadow stepping it. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time, and you will definitely be seeing more Hearthstone videos. Just maybe new decks, trying out new things. Um, so thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.